Lesson 10, From Average to Awesome, Make a Great Impression Welcome to yet another day of the Life Theory Lessons, where in this pack we focus on small habits that pave the way for a grand life. As you may know, life is often compared to a game, and just like in any game, being likable can make a massive difference. You might still win even if others don't find you appealing, but the journey will be tougher and less enjoyable. So, what's the point if you're not having a good time, right? Some might argue that the goal is to gain respect and admiration from others, but trust us, if you're not likable, people won't care about you in the long run. You might be a topic of conversation momentarily, but soon they'll dismiss you and move on to someone they genuinely care about. Think of it like a video game. An unlikable character won't have any allies, and other characters might even ignore or sabotage them. Even enemies don't want to bother with them. It's simply not the ideal way to play the game of life. Hence, it's crucial to work on being likable, as people won't automatically be drawn to you. Generally, individuals are cautious and tend to form first impressions quickly. Before you've even uttered a word, their brains have already processed your body language, gestures, and tone to decide whether or not you're worth adding to their circle. If first impressions are so vital for determining likability, we must ensure that we make a stellar first impression, beginning with a genuine greeting. And that leads us to habit number 10, greet everyone in the room. Greeting people is more than just being polite and saying hello. It's the foundation of social interactions and likability. Imagine a tree representing these aspects, with greeting everyone being the top branch from which everything else grows. In order to like others, we first need to trust them, and years of human evolution have ingrained in us the qualities we look for in people to build that trust. The first of these qualities is showing vulnerability. People are far less likely to hurt you when they've already given you the means to hurt them. Rejection is a significant fear for many. It's why we prefer to stay on our couches under a cozy blanket, binge-watching Netflix instead of attending networking events where we hardly know anyone. Our blanket won't reject us, but we might face rejection if we greet someone and they don't reciprocate. By greeting others first, you're making yourself vulnerable and giving them power, which builds immediate trust. Your brain relaxes and your social defenses start to crumble. Interestingly, we often believe that it takes a long time to trust someone, maybe a year or two. However, a study from New York University found that our brains determine trust levels within seconds of meeting someone. Greeting others promptly initiates the trust-building process. After trust, the next factor that makes us like someone and that we unconsciously seek, is a spark of joy emanating from confidence. A happy and confident person is naturally attractive, and we instinctively want to be part of their world. People appreciate intelligence, not the arrogant, self-centered, attention-hogging kind, but a well-rounded blend encompassing social interactions, emotional intelligence, and cognitive intelligence. Intelligent individuals bring immense value to conversations, helping you learn new things, igniting excitement about experiences, and asking thought-provoking questions. Confidence quickly conveys intelligence, giving others the impression that you're comfortable in social settings and well-informed on the topics you discuss. People make an effort to be around intelligent individuals because we have an innate desire to learn and grow, seeking inspiration and striving to elevate ourselves to their level. As much as we appreciate trust, confidence, and intelligence, humans are still somewhat self-centered, which is why individual attention is one of the most effective ways to make someone like you. It's natural for people to crave attention, and this doesn't necessarily have to manifest in attention-seeking behavior. Craving attention isn't inherently bad. After all, we are social creatures, and receiving attention makes us feel good. We want to feel valued, worthy of someone's time and thoughts, and even a small amount of attention from a stranger can make us feel loved and significant. When you greet someone individually, you give them that attention, making them feel like they're worth your time. In turn, they begin to like you. Our sense of value and self-worth is tied to reciprocity. We tend to give and receive in equal amounts. This unspoken social rule dictates that, more than any other action, greeting people individually can significantly impact how much they like you. It demonstrates trust and vulnerability, confidence, intelligence, and interest in the person, fostering a sense of connection. However, this habit doesn't end here. Greeting someone once can make them like you for a while, but it's crucial to remember them and acknowledge them when you see them again. Ignoring them in the future can actually make them dislike you, as they'll feel shunned and socially unsafe. Greeting everyone in the room might seem intimidating. What if they reject you? The truth is that most people will be so delighted and impressed by your approach that they'll want to be around you. You can follow up your greeting with a few questions, but often, 
you won't even need to. Your vulnerability has already opened them up, and they'll reciprocate. All you need to do is establish a connection. Deep down, we all crave connection in one form or another, so why not be the person who takes the first step? If you want to be more likable, an essential strategy is to greet everyone in the room. Remember, these small changes in behavior can make a world of difference in how people perceive you, opening up countless opportunities and making life more enjoyable and fulfilling. So, start by greeting everyone and watch your social life flourish, one connection at a time.